Hi guys, um, sorry about that delay. Um, we're going to be looking at doing transitions inside of Premiere Pro. So I've got some clips. I'm just going to bring in three. If you bring in a group, then it's going to bring them in in the order you highlighted them. So I highlighted from four to six. So if I zoom out by hitting the minus key. As you can see, I've brought and then clips the order I highlighted them. Now they don't fit perfectly, but that's not too much of a problem. There's a couple of things you could do. You could drop down this box to increase the scale, like that. Or, I don't think this is going to work. I know, because it's already scale. Yes, yeah, so if you just increase the scale, the scale, then it will fill the frame. Uh, I'm just going to do that for this one as well. Scale. Um, let's move by the way. And if you select your motion, you can Command C or Control C on the PC, and Command V, Control V, and it will paste the same attributes for the motion so you don't have to scale this one up as well right ok so transitions it's under your effects panel um, we're going to go video transitions and there are lots of different ones you can play around with them um, I just use dissolve mainly because you get into cheesy movie maker grade um, movie maker style videos if you start using all cheesy transitions Pressing the plus key or equals key, sorry, to zoom in. Um, and I've got two clips here. Now there's two ways to fade it. You can do, I'm going to use the dip to black. You can do it so that it goes the middle. I'm going to zoom in a bit more so you can see what I'm on about. You can do it in the middle or over to one side. If I crop in this clip here, and if I do the same, and this clip, sorry, my computer's going slow because I'm rendering something out in Final Cut, and if I select this empty bit of track and hit backspace, just, okay, right click, ripple delete, then we'll bring it close. Now, when we go our dip to black, you can see we've got a few options. We can do it central, so it will be black in between the clips, or if we put it to one side, it will be black just in. Um, it will be black around this sort of area. So, for instance, when it closes, it'll be black around there, and then it fades up into that clip. Doing it central, we'll fade it into the middle to black, and then fade up on the other side. Now, if say you wanted this to fade to black, just put it fade black, and then it packs in with this bit straight away. Mm -hmm. There's a few, the way I do it, zoom in, plus key. Just trim either one back of the frame so that there's a gap in between. Then when we add our dip, like that, minus key to zoom out, you can see that we have a dip to back and then a cut back in with footage like that. And like I said, there's lots of different if you play around this report. I believe it is. Second. Yep. If you just play around, then you can find out for yourself what you like. So we've got some page pills here. This is telling me that because 
this footage ends here and this footage ends here it needs to have a bit of this footage overlaying this clip and a bit of this footage overlaying this clip but there's not enough media because that is the end of the clip so it's going to use the first the last frame of this clip and the first frame of this clip I'll show you what I mean Well, we've got a transition. You can use the arrow keys. As you can see, we're still on. You can use the plus key to zoom. We're still on this clip. However, we can see a bit of that clip. However, the clip ends here. So it's using that first frame behind it. And then as you can see she's still stationary because it's just repeated frame and as soon as it gets over to this side she will start moving again fantastic um, so you just play around, have a go with the transitions and that's how they work, They're very simple alternatively if you want to do a dip to back you can um, select a layer and just change the opacity. So, for instance, let's go here, hit this icon to add a keyframe, and then let's go to the beginning of the clip, bring it down to zero. And then it will fade in like that. And that's how you can manually do it. Um, you can use the pen tool to do this, so hit the P key to select the pen tool. And if you hold down command or control, you can add points, keyframes. And then if you let go of command, you can move them like that. And as you can see, they will dip according to your keyframes. like so. Yep, that's how you do transitions, quite simple, and I'll see you soon with another tutorial. Remember, I'm Dan Allen from youtube.com forward slash Dan and Bounty Castle. Um, also, learn software today dot weebly dot com. Also, check this. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to play this at the end of my videos. Um, Let's go down on a bouncy castle. Exciting, huh? See you soon.